Hi guys. As you guys well know, uh, I have been a staunch advocate of a new, uh, invigorated, revolutionary, confrontational uh, form of intactivism, of anti-circumcision protest. And for me, this means protesting in places like schools, um, elementary, middle, and high schools during drop-off and pickup, protesting about circumcision. Um, uh, protesting churches, particularly Catholic churches. There's uh, there's reasons for doing this. In general, I have found that the soft underbelly of a circumcising culture is the place where parents and children interface, where they're physically and psychologically and physically in proximity to each other. So when they're being picked up and dropped off from school, or when they're coming out of church, perfect time. The circumcisionist culture is at its absolute weakest point, and you can attack it directly. The Catholic Church uh, protest idea has other added power because the Catholic Church literally has a papal bull, the 1442 papal bull of communion with the Copts, which threatens hellfire for circumcision. And there is rhetorical power in calling an institution out for not enforcing its stated dogma, its stated morality. There's, there's additional rhetorical power there. But I have found a new vulnerability. It's just another venue, but it's a fairly unique one that I thought deserved its own video. Um, and that is the idea of protesting boys Little League games. Yes, in the United States of America, uh, baseball was known as the, the nation's favorite pastime. Um, and there are these leagues of baseball. Starts out real little with t-ball, goes all the way up, um, you know, 12, 13. Well, the Little League... Um, goes up to like 12 or 13 um, and they actually well they actually have a World Series uh, in the Northeast of the United States of America that's another thought boy this is just happening on the fly but what I was thinking was okay there's these leagues and these are not school affiliated leagues these are this is an little league is an independent organization. It's not affiliated with the schools. They generally don't practice at school fields. They practice at baseball diamonds in public parks. You know, public parks where anybody has a right to be right there. I mean, it's, it's, it's at a public park. You can walk right up to them. In fact, you can... They have little, they have little dugouts. They all sometimes have a concession stand. You could go up and buy... Something out of the concession stands there. I mean, it's it's right there. Would it not be amazing? And sometimes the the sometimes the parking lots come right up to the edges of one of the left or right fields. So you're within twenty feet of the bleachers and the kids and the entire field. You can spring the circumcision bomb on them like that. Go there. Go there in your car. Go there with a megaphone. Have an audio input jack. And if you have to pre-record something, I, I mean, I, I have quotes, you know, I have, you know, I, I have quotes, uh, you know, this is typically what I, I, I have choreographed, you know, infant circumcision is genital mutilation. Infant circumcision is genital mutilation. Hey, kids. Did your parents cut off part of your penis as a baby? Hey kids, have you ever heard the word circumcision? Go ask your parents what it means. Did your parents cut off part of your penis as a baby? That brown ring around your penis? That's a scar where they cut off part of your penis as a baby. Go ask your parents about it, kids. That's sort of a prepackaged statement. You don't even have to interact. 
You don't even have to be there for more than 20 seconds to let that play. Once you do it, you do it, you go in there, you do the damage, you do the deed. I mean, shoot, I, I am such a leathery old cynic, I, I scarcely remember, you know, I, I scarcely remember the gravity of my own circumcision revelation. It was, it was fucking horrific. The shock of it has never left me. And, you know, and to think that you're springing that on tons of young boys, it makes me feel so bad. But there's there's no there's no op, there's no alternative. This is there's no ignorance is not bliss, or at least we cannot let it remain to be so. And it certainly isn't bliss for the millions more boys that end up getting generally mutilated. It wouldn't have to be if we got aggressive right now. So this is, I mean, this is January. Little League doesn't get underway probably until, I don't know, maybe April? April or May? I don't, I don't know. And, uh, yeah, another great opportunity. And, of course, Little League has the famous Little League World Series in the Northeast of the United States, something I'm vaguely familiar with, which may offer, uh, offer opportunities of its own. But keep it simple. You can do this. This is, you know, value for money. You can cause a lot of circumcision revelation. You can cause a lot of confrontation on circumcision with almost no resources. I don't recommend going and screaming because... You look a bit crazy if you don't have a megaphone. The megaphone is sort of the imprimatur, the uh, the badge of the activist class. So if you can shout it on a megaphone, I guess that makes it better. I don't know. But uh, yeah, protesting infant circumcision at little boys' little league games. Nobody said this would be pretty, but let's put circumcision to death as quickly as possible and put this chapter, this miserable chapter in this nation's history to rest. Tell me what you think. Take care. Bye-bye.